Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. You all really seem to like these videos from me, so I'm thinking of doing them, I don't know, on a monthly basis. This particular day was a Monday work day. I had a lot of things going on. So I'll show you everything that I ate and drank on this particular busy Monday. Uh, you know I like my drinks. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, I'm just rehydrating here with some water. Um, I went for a run this morning and I like to put uh, a serving of this natural calm uh, into my water in the morning. It's a magnesium supplement. It's supposed to help with sore muscles, but I really just enjoy the taste of it. Definitely follow the recommended serving sizes though. Don't consume too much of it. It could upset your stomach. Yeah, I just like the taste of it. And I also require my coffee. I love the Four Sigmatic ground mushroom coffee. I've been doing that on my French press. Today's video is sponsored by Four Sigmatic. They are currently having their um, annual winter sale. So it is a fantastic time to stock up for those of you who are Four Siggy enthusiasts like myself. Uh, you definitely want to stock up. I love the ground mushroom coffee. It has a nice rich earthy taste, but it doesn't taste like mushrooms whatsoever. It ends up working out really well in my French press. It's just like the perfect grind for a French press. And I mentioned it doesn't taste like mushrooms, but the mushrooms, they almost elevate the flavor of the coffee in such a unique way. I don't know what it is, but it really brings out some of the subtle flavors and aromas within the coffee itself. And yeah, this is probably, this has quickly become my favorite coffee. I've been drinking it for over a year now and I keep coming back to it in the morning. So yeah, I do it in the French press. Uh, I just do two scoops um, and then I add boiling water and uh, let it incubate for about six minutes. The longest six minutes. <laughs> I love my coffee so much. So this particular morning, I had a little bit of extra time before I had to leave. So I was kind of taking it a little bit more slowly than I normally do. But sometimes when I'm really in a hurry, I rely on instant coffee. And their instant coffees are a fantastic go-to, especially if you are really finicky about your coffee. You know most instant coffees can kind of just taste like... Uh, a combination of styrofoam and glass. I recommend these. They offer the advantage of, of your instant fix, but this amazing culinary profile explosion in your mouth. Uh, they also have a variety of elixirs. I personally love the mushroom elixir mix. You might ask, what exactly do you do with this and why do you drink it? I make a tea out of this most of the time. I just add boiling water to it and it almost is like this rich earthy tea that has a, a nice bright undertone. There's no caffeine in the elixir either, so if you are caffeine sensitive, this is a good one, uh, especially if you like kind of a bolder tea flavor, but you're trying to skip out on the caffeine. You know, everyone has their own reasons for drinking the Four Sigmatic elixirs and coffees. For me, I keep coming back to them because they taste amazing. So the chaga elixir that I just showed you kind of has more of a rich chocolatey undertone, but if you're looking for something lighter, brighter, and kind of with a botanic floral, go for the uh, reishi, the mushroom elixir with reishi. Uh, that's really nice. Also, they came out with a vegan superfood protein powder. Now, I don't do too much with protein powders. I don't rely on them, but they are convenient in a pinch. And theirs not only is vegan, it's also gluten-free. And for those of you who hate stevia, uh, this particular protein powder does not have any stevia in it. It is um, also doesn't have any flavor, so you can kind of you can kind of jazz it up to your liking. It's it's good, very good quality. Ah, oh, the long-awaited six minutes is up and plunge on. So I mentioned that they're currently, Four Sigmatics is currently having their annual winter sale. Fantastic time to stock up. And if you guys click the link in my description box, you will get an additional 15% off. That's in addition to the already discounted sale price. So take advantage. I know a lot of you who watch my channel adore Four Sigmatic and rave about it frequently in the comments. Moving on, I am pretty ravenous at this point because like I said, I worked out early this morning, so I'm assembling my breakfast. I'm just kind of dumping together some random leftovers that I have in my fridge. So I've got quinoa, which I enjoy eating actually in the morning, kind of in lieu of oatmeal, especially if I've pre-prepared it. It's just super convenient. Um, I've got edamame on there for protein, and I just love anything that bright green color. And then I've 
thawed out overnight in my fridge some of the Costco triple berry mix that comes frozen. Put that on there with a couple of heaping teaspoons of freshly ground flax seeds, um, as well as some Brazil nuts. I used to hate Brazil nuts, but I think I was just not getting very good quality Brazil nuts. I got these on iHerb and I've really been enjoying them. Yeah, if there's a food that you hate or hated in the past, give it the five-year rule. Like, retest it in five years and see if you still hate it. I've surprised myself. Like, I, as a child, I hated Brussels sprouts, and now I adore them. So I just added some hemp seeds, and now I'm going to drizzle on some black magic, as I call it. This is so good. I adore tahini at baseline, but the black sesame tahini Maybe it's all in my head. As a matter of fact, it is all in my head. I think they taste the same, but it's just a little bit extra, if you know what I mean. If anything, it looks kind of cool on the bowl with the green. Personally, I adore tahini. I, I actually prefer it to, like, almond butter. I know, cringe, right? <laughs> like, uh, everybody loves almond butter. <sighs> I prefer tahini, and the black tahini is really good. It's amazing alongside the berries too, is that combination of sweet and sesame. One of my favorite candies actually are those little sesame candies. So this kind of kind of always hints at that nice flavor combination. Um, I do follow a vegan diet. So I of course supplement my diet with B12 um, and I try and get that in in the morning. If I forget, then I definitely take it at nighttime. I am currently using this one that is sublingual. So you just, Put a dropper full once a day under your tongue and hold it under there for a few minutes. God forbid we let a few minutes escape without multitasking and checking emails. Of course, the experts will tell you that that's a bad habit, that you should be mindful when you eat and whatnot. It's something that I'm working on. These bowls, as a side note, they um, I got them the same time that I got my nonstick cook pan by that company from our house. I showed the cook pan in my last What I Eat in a Day video bought the bowls I got at the same time and they're just really nice and simple but they I actually have four of them and they stack together yeah leftovers uh dumped together for breakfast is a really nice medley it's easy to throw together and uh make sure that you use what you have in your fridge it doesn't take much time and it ends up being really a balanced meal when you rely on your kind of leftovers from the night before and this, like I said, is going to sustain me until lunchtime. Today I got lunch in the cafeteria. I had a huge salad with uh, spinach and there's some mixed greens, greens buried down in there. Tofu, uh, shredded carrots, cucumber. I also mixed in some black beans and some hummus, topped it with some sunflower seeds. They had some butter, uh, roasted butternut squash and this like corn salad that I threw in there. And of course, a ton of mushrooms. I love mushrooms and try and get them in wherever possible. <laughs> uh, and lots of broccoli. I love my broccoli. So yeah, um, and I also drizzled this with some balsamic vinegar, just a really nice kind of balance. Um, and then, I got an apple, and y'all know I love my saltines, so I got a packet of saltines, and they have these little salsa uh, packets that aren't too, too horrible. I like to put those on the tofu, because uh, the tofu they have is just plain, like it's not seasoned or anything, so it can be, it can be pretty bland. Like, I always feel the need to tell people who are staring uh, apprehensively at the tofu, like, put something on that, otherwise you're going to hate tofu for life if you just eat it that way, because <laughs> uh, it's not flavored or anything. But yeah, I love tofu, um, and I eat it frequently, probably daily, if not every other day. It's just really good. And it's a nice uh, kind of balanced protein for for those of you who are uh, seeking more plant-based proteins. I recommend considering tofu, edamame, beans. Get a good balance. Hemp seeds, chia seeds. So for dinner tonight, I actually had a meeting to go to. Um, once a month, I go to a dinner meeting for the Houston Durham Society. And this particular, well, I try and go every month. It's a CME event. It's usually at a restaurant. And there's a dinner. And this particular one was at uh, 
a Italian restaurant that I think has been in Houston for a long time. Uh, the menu was not vegan, but they do have a vegan option on the on their regular menu, so they provided me with that. To start out, I had um, a tomato salad, and then for dinner, I had this wonderful pasta. The pasta was really good with the veggies and just a delicious marinara sauce. It was really good. So those of you in the Houston area, comment below and if you've ever been to Damien's, but this is probably my third time going there. And this is the, I get this pasta every time. It's quite good. But the talk tonight was on uh, sclerotherapy for leg veins. Latest cutting edge research in leg veins. Anyway, it is uh, nighttime. I'm gonna unwind with something sweet. Um, so I'm not, I mentioned in my last What I Eat in a Day video how much I love prunes and that I'm not really a date fan, but I got these dates recently and this is something that I do enjoy doing. I like getting pitted dates and stuffing a raw almond inside. It's a perfect snack, sweet treat, dessert. It's really satisfying. If you have a sweet tooth and you're looking for something to satisfy it, I, I recommend the stuffed date approach. It's also really good to put dark chocolate chips inside of your dates or your favorite nut butter, tahini. Those of you in the UK, stuff a little Marmite in there. It is good. <laughs> if you're a Marmite fan, comment below. I really enjoy it. Uh, we actually have a store here in Houston that sells all things British. Um, that's where I get my Marmite from. Uh, I love finishing the evening with a hot beverage. Yeah, I think in my last What I Eat in a Day video, I uh, was sharing with you guys that I like to have reishi at nighttime. The taste just is kind of a perfect palate cleanse, but the Four Sigmatic uh, Hot Cacao with Reishi is a really nice kind of sweet treat slash palate cleanser for finishing up the night. Over the past few years, I have really tried to put the habit into place where I shut off screens about an hour before going to bed. Easier said than done, but I'm pretty good about it. And having a nice little hot beverage helps me in kind of relaxing, unwinding. I like to put on my uh, battery operated mood lighting. <laughs> While I write out my to-do list for the following day and my planner just helps me not think about what I have to do all night long. Yeah, I really have come to relish my uh, quiet unwind time in the evening and it has helped me get much better quality sleep. That and training myself to sleep on my back, the blackout curtains, everything that I feel I've dialed in on my sleep. It's really improved from what it once was. You guys have come a long way in the past decade of my life and my sleep journey. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day video. Don't forget to check out the Four Sigmatic Winter Sale and click the link in my description box to get an additional 15% off. Thank you Four Sigmatic for sponsoring today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.